luck with Social Draft for a social media dashboard that lets you schedule to Facebook pages, Facebook groups, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Pinterest. And today I'm starting a series of tutorials on how to edit your images for Instagram. And today I'm going to show you a neat little app which is called Warswag. And I use this to add watermarks to my images. So basically you download the app. I think it costs like maybe $2.99 or $3.99, but it's totally worth the money. And when you open it, you can either select one of their images or you can take an image or you can select something from your particular album. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to click right over here, this little Polaroid looking um, icon. From here, you can pick one of their images. As you see, they got a pretty decent library. You can also search images. So they've got, also got a good amount of stock photography, but I like to do my own images. So I'm going to click on camera overall on the top right hand corner and I'm going to select the image I want to work with. So let's select this one. Now I've got my image. Your next step is to decide whether you want to crop or not crop. I actually think this looks really nice crop, so I'm gonna crop, which I don't normally do. So we're gonna click square crop. I've got my image and notice this little dot right here. Just double click that and you can write anything you want if you just do this. So poutine. I'm gonna click save and close and now I've got my write up. You can move all of these um, letters around to position them where you want to make them bigger or smaller you can change the look because this is a nice app that allows you to do a bunch of different things so it's kind of cool okay but you can decide to leave this or if you want to cheat out the app and you don't want to have a write-up you just double click you delete the write-up and you enter a period okay and you see it right now and then what you're going to do is you're going to select one of those like more sleek looking um fonts so i usually choose ultra clean and you see that little dot right there, just kind of move it off the picture and then you don't have any more write up. So you can choose to add text or not add text. When you're done, you're going to click done. And this automatically saves it to your camera roll. So this edited image will already be in your camera roll. You got this little box that tells you you can close. So we're going to click that. And now all the way in the bottom, you're going to see add logo or watermark. So we're going to click that right there. And now you can click text or image. Ideally, you're using an image that you've already saved to your phone. You have to make sure that it has a transparent background. So I'm going to click image. And then I'm going to go to favorites where I keep all of my images and I'm going to select this logo right here. Notice I have my little logo right there. It's already transparent. I can make it bigger if I want. I can make it smaller and I can put it right there. You can also play with the transparency as well. And when you're done, all you have to do is click on the top right hand corner, that little check mark. And your image has been saved to your camera roll. So it's that easy and simple. This is the first of five apps that we're going to show you how to use for this. Um, I hope that you enjoy it. If you want to get more tutorials and more cool tips, just go on Facebook and look for Social Draft and it's a group. And we share tons of tips. We answer questions. So don't be shy. Come and join us. I hope you enjoyed this tip and I hope to see you on the Social Draft Group.